This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today. Ghost cars are haunting Philly streets. Meanwhile, a fortune teller scammed a man out of 10 grand. Pennsylvania's noxious weeds list has grown. Finally, a man finds a message from the past. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Ghost cars are haunting Philadelphia streets, reports NBC10. These cars are called this because they either have no license plates or use something like plastic to obscure them. The reason an individual may be doing this is to prevent any scans by cameras for tickets. And while institutions like the Pennsylvania Turnpike claim the loss of revenue from ghost cars is negligible, some city residents are hoping authorities start cracking down on them because, as put by one of them, quote, If you cover your tag, what are you hiding? The Philadelphia Parking Authority did confirm to NBC10 that any ghost car found will be ticketed and towed. A man in North Huntington was looking for some spiritual help over the summer, so he decided to go to Psychic Novena, reports the Tribune Review. Over $10,000 later, the man went to the police to report Psychic Novena's scam. And this isn't the first time Novena, real name Alexis Candy Mitchell, has had a run-in with cops because of fortune-telling. In 2019, she charged a woman nearly $4,000 for a spiritual cleanse, among other things, something she was arrested, then freed on bail for. And while you might wonder why the fortune teller is at risk of getting arrested for someone else willing to pay them, by law, it can be illegal if the fortune teller makes a promise that comes with a price. Mitchell, who remains at large, faces charges of theft by deception and fortune telling. Pennsylvania's list of noxious weeds is growing, states the Tribune Review. The State Department of Agriculture recently added the burning bush as well as three types of privet hedge, and nurseries and garden centers now have till January 2025 to phase them out. As for why they received the noxious label, the burning bush has a habit of thriving in shade that causes it to take over woodland understory areas. As for the privet hedges of the Japanese, Chinese, and European varieties, They also have an invasive nature which allows for them to take over habitats. For the full list of Pennsylvania's noxious weeds, click on the link in the related podcast article. Joe Frasetta was taking a stroll with his wife Marcy at Fowler's Hollow State Park in Blaine the other day when something caught his eye, says PenLive. A bottle lying on the ground that had a couple of pieces of paper with writing in it. Frasetta decided to pick the bottle up and was rewarded with a delightful surprise. Two messages. Well, one was a receipt for $6 from 1973, which is still cool, but the other was a paper plate upon which multiple people wrote about their experience in the park on. Frisetta expressed the hopes of finding the family that left the bottle behind to return it to them because, according to him, quote, that would be awesome. Happy Friday, everyone. To stay in the know over the weekend, visit penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast either Apple or Amazon and to share it around with anyone you think would enjoy it too. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Claudia DeMiro and I'll see you guys next week for some fresh today in the PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today.